Michelle, I understand that you attended acting classes in New York City, was it? Back when you were 18 or so. What did you see in your teachers then that you wanted to emulate to your students now and also vice versa? What did you see that maybe didn't work that you wanted to make sure that you provided for your students? Well, yes, in the late 70s and in the 80s, I was running around New York City studying and luckily enough studying with Stella Adler and with Uta Hagen and Herbert Bergdorf and Bill Esper and just a slew of wonderful teachers. I think it was really fascinated by the craft of acting and what made you know a great acting performance. And so I learned from the great icons. And uh, yes, yeah, Stella was very passionate and Uta was very passionate and that you need to have that kind of passion to fire up you know, a young generation of actors. And conversely, what did you see that maybe you wanted to make sure that you always provided your students that sometimes maybe other teachers didn't? A certain way of talking to them? Or because I took so many acting classes and saw so many different styles of teachers, one of the things that uh, always made me run were teachers that were mean. And, uh, and there were several of them, you know, this, this old cliche that if you tear an actor down and then you build them up again, they learn something, maybe a profound truth about themselves or a way of acting that just is deeper. And I never quite could sign up for that kind of, uh, you know, massacre. So uh, I didn't, uh, I never wanted to teach like that. I never wanted to make a student run out of the room, run out of the theater and cry and feel defeated. So, um, you know, though, I mean, Stella Adler was, she was very entertaining and she was tough. I think there's a difference between being challenging and, uh, but that's constructive than being, you know, um, tough and really putting a student down, which is destructive. And that's one, I think, of the main lessons that I learned.